when we see y'all. Can you imagine the 24 elders bowing and praising him all the time? Can you just imagine what it's going to be like when we greet one another in heaven? I dream of a city called heaven so bright and so fair and as I enter the gates of the city <laughs> oh the sights are too numerous to take. <clears throat> they carried me from mansion to bright mansions. And oh, the sights I saw. Wanna see Yeshua? He's the one who died for all. Then I bowed on my knees and I cried. I cry holy. I cried holy, holy, holy. Oh, I cried holy. I cried, I cried, I cried holy. Oh, glory. I don't know about you. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, glory to the sun. of Almighty Yah. See, I'm not down here to respond to this earth. I heard Pastor Harold say, we've got to forsake each other and everything down here. And then when we see y'all, hallelujah God, when we see y'all, when I see y'all, and I'm able to say to him, these are the babies you gave me. My babies, y'all. How many of you want to be able to say to y'all, this is what you gave me. This is what you gave me. This is what you blessed me with. Oh, glory to the Son of God. Oh, I bowed on my knees and I cried holy I cried holy I cried glory hallelujah I cried glory I cried glory Great Yah, before great Yah, before great Yah, and I said, 
glory Oh glory Oh glory Son, we come, Yeshua. First of all, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy and your kindness towards us, Father. We thank you for keeping us all week. We thank you for making provisions. And for some of us, Father, it wasn't easy. It was a challenge this week, but nevertheless, you brought us through and we just want to say thank you father thank you thank you we thank you because we are in in good health father and we just say thank you for that with all of the danger and all of the evil in this world father you kept us father you embraced us and now no harm hurt or danger to come upon us and we say thank you father we thank you for the workplace. We thank you for our jobs. And all, all the time is not easy, Father. We have a tough time on some of our jobs, Father. But we thank you for it because it allows us to live the lifestyle that we live, oh, Father. But then there are some of us, Father, we're not content, Father, because the money we're making is not enough for us to live in the overflow, Father. We want to do good things for our family. We like to have nice things for our family, so we ask for increase. We're not complaining, but, Father, we're asking for increase. We say, whatever you need, just ask in my name, and it shall be given. So, Father, this morning we ask for increase, Father. And Father, we also say if there's anything that we've done this week, Father, that was not pleasing in your sight, there's something that we might have said, Father, that we're not even aware of. Something we might have done that we're not even aware of. Father, we bring it to you with uplifting hands. We say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. Forgive us of any sins. Because we want to live with you. We want to reign with you, Father. We want to be saved. We don't want nothing to hinder us. But most of all, Father, we want to live an abundant life. That abundant life that you say we shall have. You said that you come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. But in order for us to see the promises of you, Yahshua, of your Father, we have to be obedient to your word. We have to live that life that you require. And if we do what we're supposed to do, then we will find favor in thy sight. And we say thank you again, Father. Now, Father, we lift our hands and we lift our hearts, Father. Our mouth, we give praises and adoration to you because you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of the glory. You are worthy of the honor, Father. So we lift our hands in total praise. You are the source of our strength. You are the strength of our life. We cannot do nothing without you. We are nothing without you. And it's because of you we are who we are. We say thank you, Father. May as we yield our vessels, we yield our mind to you, O oh Father. Have your way in our life. Revive in this place today, O oh Father. Heal in this place today father set free in this place today father let your power let your glory fill this house because if your glory fill this house father whatever we're going through it shall break every yoke 
It shall set your people free. If we're sick in our body, your glory will heal our bodies. So, Father, we invite you into this place. We invite you to our hearts. And, Father, we thank you for those who are on the way, those who are here already. You know what they have need of, both physically, spiritually, mentally. You know what they have need of. So, God, Father, Yahweh, don't allow anybody to leave this sanctuary the way they came. If they came happy, let them leave happier. If they came sad, Father, let them leave here with joy in their hearts. If they came here in trouble, Father, not knowing what to do and confused, let them leave here, Father, knowing that you, you, are right by their side. You will lead and guide. Even in our confusion, when we don't understand, you will lead us and you will guide us. So we say thank you. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. 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 In Yahshua's name we pray. Happy Sabbath, church. I said happy Sabbath, church. I don't know about you, but I feel good right now that I made it to another weekend. You know, it's a lot of people that didn't make it to the weekend, so I'm grateful that I had breath in my body. Now, if you can open your Bibles or your phone, if you have the Bible app, we're about to read the Decalogue. That is in chapter 21 of Exodus. Chapter 20? Chapter 20 of Exodus, sorry. Verse 8 through 17. Oh, oh, if everybody can stand to their feet. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh thy Elohim. In it thou shalt not do any work, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is in with thy, thy gates. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee. Thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Welcome, welcome, welcome on this blessed Sabbath day. This is the fun part of our service. This is when we get to meet and greet and talk and catch up with each other and find out how the week has been, to introduce ourselves to people we don't know, and to give y'all the opportunity to let us witness to each other about the amazing things that have happened to us this week. So stand to your feet. This is fun time. You cannot stay in your seat, except you can stay in your seat. <laughs> you can stay there. We'll come to you. But everyone else, those that can, we want you to greet one another in Yah's name.
the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice. Say it, I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will and rejoice. be glad in it. This is the day that Yah has made. <clears throat> so we understand what that means. Come on, put your hands together. Goodness. 
Yahshua did me. I'm so glad Yahshua did me. I'm so glad Yahshua did me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Yahshua did me. Well, I'm so glad Yahshua did me. I'm so glad Yahshua did me. Oh, I'm so glad that you were lifting me, singing glory, hallelujah, you were lifted. over our trials, over our problems, over our situations, over our lives, over our jobs, over our health, over our finances, we have the victory. In the name of the almighty Yeshua, blessed be his name. Song said, You are my strength, strength like God. Like 
gentleman that comes into my program on a daily basis totally disoriented but you see the Bible says that we are each other's neighbor and we're to look out for each other so he knows to come to my office every day and ask for a cup of coffee and at first I was a little bit concerned because I said well maybe I shouldn't be doing this and allowing him to come to my office but one morning, Yah spoke to me, and he said, Suffer him not. Forbid him not. Be a blessing to him, because this is your opportunity for me to get the glory and for me to get the praise. So when Brother Marvin comes, he comes to my office, he'll just reach in and he'll say, Coffee? And I say, Always. You see, it's our responsibility to look out for each other. It is our responsibility to make sure that Yah gets the glory and Yah gets the praise. And everything that we do, we must magnify and lift up his name. When people see us, they need to know that they're going to be blessed. When Yah sends us out into the community, it's not for our works. It's not for our goodness. When Yah was sent his son, Yahshua, down to the earth, what did he say always that my father that your will be what glorified that your name i do not for me i do that your name so that your will will be glorified and that is our command and i just see my day as an opportunity for y'all to get the praise I commission everyone in the audience and on the platform, anywhere hearing my voice, that you challenge yourselves each and every day to be a blessing to not just one, but to everyone that you see and meet. Because this may be the only opportunity that they have to know that they are loved. And they are loved by God. Sing 
that love song to him. Let's stay right there. And I love you forever. I love you forever. He endured that heart of our praise. to put nothing before him. those hands together. Come on, let's praise him. Oh, I feel his presence in this place. A lot of times we, we tell him that we love him. But how many know that action speaks louder than words? See, I can look to you and tell you that I love you, but if I don't show you that I love you, then you're going to question not only my confessions, but then you're going to question my integrity. But when we say we love him, we ought to show, tell somebody, we ought to show some signs. When we outside of the four corners of these walls, while we out in our communities, in the workplace, our life ought to reflect how much we love him. And he said, well, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's if you love him. Now, you said to love him. Then we ought to show some signs. 
Pastor Al, it's so good to see you here on this afternoon. Amen. Amen. Can let's praise y'all for Pastor Al visiting us today. Amen. Amen. We, we are, I'm so excited that we've been, you know, this has been my brother ever since we was young, ever since. Amen. We was like 10 years old. And amen. And I'm so, I'm so happy that y'all kept us. Amen. Because I can look around a lot of people, a lot of people, amen, that I grew up with, Brother Kerwin, they're not here today. You know, some of the people we went to school with, and they're not here today. And so it's good when I look around and I see my brother in good health and, and in good strength. Amen. It makes it really, I'm not just talking, it makes my heart glad. Say, thank you, Father, for keeping him. In the land of the living. And not only did he keep him, not only did he keep him, but the fellowship. Amen. Thank you, Father, for bringing him into your fold. We're excited about that. I'm excited. You know, he talks to me and, you know, we talk about ministry and, and he, you know, he loves me so much. He asked me uh, 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 about the feast days. He said, Pastor, do you keep the feast days? And he asked me this some, some, some months ago, and I just kind of shrugged him off a little bit because at that time it wasn't important to me. Last week his wife brought it up to me, and his wife, wife brought it up to me, and I told, I told Alan, and I talked to Alan phone, I said the fact that she addressed it, I got to deal with it. I just can't let it go in one ear and go out the other ear. Amen. So now I got to address it. Amen. I was telling Brother Karen, you know, I'm into my second year, so I don't know it all, but, but, I, but I, I am open to truth. Amen. So no, Brother Kevin, there's something that you know that I don't know. Feel free to share it with me because I'm not, the, I'm not the type of man to say, well, the pastor know it all. You know, I don't do that because I know there's a lot of experiences and testimonies that you have that I don't have. There's something that the Holy One revealed to you that he didn't reveal to me. And so no matter where it comes from, who it comes from, I can talk the time I say, Lord, Father Elohim, just give me a word. A lot of time he sent us a word, but we can't receive the messenger. Because the messenger don't look like who we think a messenger ought to look like. Doesn't sound like who he ought to sound like. So my sister addressed me at the end of the service last week. And I told her husband, I said, I can't ignore it. I have to deal with it. So today, him and I at the service, we're going to have a conversation. I told him, I said, well, you know, he's the mentor because he's, he's been at this thing. And he's, he's very astute in the word of the Lord. So I, have, I told him, I'm just going to listen to what you have to say. And then after I listen to what he has to say, then I'm going, I'm going to be in prayer. Then I'm going to research and study. I'm going to come back. And if I have any questions, think, you know, if I have any questions, I can come to him. But I thank y'all for sending him my way. I thank y'all for sending his wife to me to confront me. Because my thing is, I don't care what's going on. I don't want my soul to be lost. I don't want my soul to be lost. And I don't want to be so stuck in my way and so up in the up that I can't receive a word. Because the thing it is, when I still go before his judgment seat and he's going to say, son, I'm going to say, my father, I did this. He said, yeah, but I sent my servant to you to, to instruct you to do this, but you wouldn't hear my servant. So it's imperative, no matter who the messenger is. See, because the word says, hey, my sheep knows my voice. So we're so glad to have you, Pastor Al. And we are so looking forward to this conversation. Amen. I, I, and I praise, I really, I pray. Thank, I, I'm thankful that you even want to take time to share. Amen. Information. Because sometimes, you know, when people brush you off, because the Bible says if the people don't receive you, he said, 